Hi, my name is Louise Warrior, and today I'm going to show you how to create an effect using Effect Maker for YouTube Shorts. It's a new tool that has just been released, and I'm so excited to show you how it works. So here is what you see once you open Effect Maker, and here you can see all the projects that you have worked on in the past. And today we're going to start a new project. This is what you see once you open the new project. We're going to start here by changing the title and today we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to make a randomizer about uh, which mood you are in today. So we're going to put the title that I've chose is mood check. Here in the preview you can change um, if you want a woman, a guy, if you want a full body or not. And then you can also preview with your own face. So for this effect, I have created two types of assets. One is all the randomized as um, items, and the second is the title. So we're gonna add first the image sequ sequence of all the item that's gonna be randomized. Uh, I have created 15 of them of different moods. We wait until it gets uploaded. And then here you can see in tiny. You can either change the size here or here you press on scale. And then this is where you can change it. Here is you can change the position. So I'm going to put it on top because I want it above the head. And then here you can just rotate it. But I am just going to keep it to zero. Um, so as you can see, I am moving, but the text is not. So we're gonna add a head tracker. So we're gonna go into face accessory, add image, select, and then here. Um, since we have it twice, we're gonna put because here. We're gonna add this one here and then this one here. We're gonna just delete it. For here, as we can see, it's a bit too high, so we are just going to lower it, and it's a bit too big, so we're going to reduce it, the size. Uh, for me, I prefer when it's a bit more back, so I'm going to put it here, one, and here. And then you can also visualize it in 2D here. Um, for the speed, because right now it's a bit slow, you can just change it here, and then I'll put 16. The higher the number, the faster it's going to go. And then we are going to add the title. So add image here. You can either add it up. You can add, upload it directly here. And this is the title. I'm going to center it and then put it a bit bigger here so it's easier for everybody to read it um, you can also change the color here of the text if you want after this so right now we can just tap on the screen and nothing is doing so for that I am just gonna add the visual scripting so whenever you tap onto the screen so we're gonna go into trigger and then tap We want the title to disappear. And then time. I like adding a transition so it's making the make it a bit smoother between the changes. So you will transition. And then now I'm gonna add set property on change for the title. And then for the property, it'll be the opacity. And then as you can see, now it's going a bit too fast. So to make it a bit smoother, we're going to drag value to opacity and then the value will start at 1 and then the end value 0, timing I'll put 0 0.8 and then easy end. And then here it is disappearing slowly. For the randomized items, then I want them to appear. So I'm going to just duplicate what I just did drag it and then here I am gonna put a here I'm gonna put a bit bigger here I'm gonna put oops 
zero and then here I'll put one. Same timing and then I'll put the one to nine, so the image sequence. And in the objects here, I'll just lower the opacity to zero. And then whenever you tap, as you can see, it is just showing. Right now, it is just always, the image sequence is just always going. So we're gonna make it pause to one random item. So after, we're gonna go into image sequence, add node. Next on pause, image sequence, put the one that we want. And then as you can see, whenever you type, it's automatically showing one. Um, to be able to show this randomized, we are gonna just add a delay, add node. Here, pause. And then for duration, we're gonna put a random time. And the random time, I like doing between three and six, so you can see a little bit be at the beginning uh, how the, to show that it's really randomizing. So whenever you tap the screen, oh, don't forget to press next to it. And whenever you tap on the screen, it is just randomizing and ghost mode while showing a random object, a random item. So. Dramatic AF, okay. <laughs> um, and then here you can preview, you scan the QR code and then you can preview it on your phone. And after you can just, once you see it's working, submit it. You need to create an icon. So I have created one earlier. And then it's always has to be a square shape. And then the name required, I'll put mood check. You can add a description if you want, add the type instruction, but I, since I put in my title, we don't, you don't have to, but I like putting it in case. And then you can just submit. Then you can go into manage effects and well, I published it earlier this week, but you can see all your effects that you have ever created. And then you can also see how many views and videos published with it and it's right here. You can either create and then manage all your app. You can then, here it is currently in review, but this one we can just share the link and you can share it with your friends, with your subscribers and everyone. Thank you very much for listening and I hope it was useful and that you learned a lot with this randomized tool. Let me know if you have any videos that you want me to make about the YouTube Effect Maker, and yeah, thank you very much.